So we're a few days a few days in, um, a few training sessions later with Sprout. He's by by no means perfect at all. He's, he's coming out every morning, still overexcited, still a bit silly. Um, but we just just wanted to give you the sort of idea of the sort of the progression. So as soon as he goes to pull, we're giving him that little tug. Constantly, this zigzagging, changing direction. Okay. So we're getting him. Oh, oh. We're trying to get him to walk to heel with that loose lead all the time. Okay. Now, if he tries to, if he tries to cut in front of me. Some of the little uh, additions that you can think about. If he tries to walk in front of me, I will cut him up. And what I, the way I said is, I come across his bows. Okay, so I'm assertively stepping in front of him, so that I'm stopping him go where he wants to go. And I'm changing direction that way. Now we still give him a tug, and we'll change direction the other way. As he's walking along, he's just trying to keep ahead of me. So by turning in front of him, we're making him have to pay attention to us. Because if he doesn't pay attention to us, he's going to get his toes trodden on. Okay, so we're turning into him. And we're and then we're walking off with him again at this loose lead. Now, as I've said before, when we're teaching a dog to do one thing, we sort of let some of the other things slip as long as they're not really bad. So he's trying to jump up at me. He's a bit overexcited. I don't want to. I don't want to tell him off too much and tell him to get down because he's actually walking to heel quite nicely. So sometimes you've got to take a balance of like the battle that you're trying to pit fight. And if he's walking quite well and he's jumping up, I'll sometimes let that go a little bit. Not all, not forever, but just for the short period of time, heel. Because I know that with a bit of practice, he's going to calm down and start jumping up. But hopefully... This gives you an idea of, of the difference between Sprout the other day in the first part of the filming and Sprout today and how much he's come on with, with just that consistency and that, and that practice. So again, we're just going to roll a ball, going to use it as a distraction. As he goes to pull towards it, we're backing away, getting him to come to us. Again, he's jumping up, he's being a bit silly, the lead's getting tangled up, but I'm not going to make too much of a fuss about it because the priority here is getting Sprout to walk to heel nice, loose lead. There's no wrapping it around my hands. There's no grabbing it in both hands. I don't want to see any of this. I don't want to see any of this because it's about that nice, comfortable feeling around his neck. I hope this has all been helpful. There's plenty more videos to come. It's really starting to get the swing of it and enjoy what we're doing. And remember, you get out what you put in. See you again.